do decide to do a dawn service at the end of your driveway, something that will get you through the rest of the day is sugar. I can't get over how good these are. And our cookies. <clears throat> So today we're going to make Anzac cookies and they're going to be delicious. I am going to get all my ingredients that I prepared earlier and we're going to make them. I have all of my ingredients here prepped ready to go and I'm just going to show you how it all goes together. This recipe is actually probably one of the most simple recipes ever. You mix the dry ingredients, you melt the wet and soft ingredients, and then you combine them, and that's it. I have one and a quarter cup uh, of oats in here, so into this bowl I'm going to add one cup of flour. I'm going to add one cup of desiccated coconut, and my pinch of salt. And then I'm just going to give that a good stir. We should be close to friends. All right, once this is all fully combined, you're just going to set it to the side and we're going to move on to our wet ingredients. Request my chariot, get ya. The door's open. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to heat up our wet ingredients. So I've got one cup of brown sugar. I've got 150 grams of butter. And I've got a quarter cup of honey. Oh, and for anyone that wants to know about this spatula, it is the greatest spatula on the planet. This one I got as a birthday present from uh, a girl that I went to school with. It is, the brand is called Wilton, and it's got a spatula, like the whole thing is a spatula, which means that you can get into any size container, and it's like the greatest thing ever. Now I'm going to take this over to the stove, and I'm going to put it on a medium to low heat uh, until the butter has melted and the sugar has fully dissolved. She's approaching us, I disassociate, exfoliate, the renegotiate, she's close enough. And one thing to remember when you're melting butter is to cut it up into um, pieces that are the same size. So I cut mine up into cubes and that just makes it easier for it to melt down. Open up. So I've just taken that off the heat, it's all fully melted and together and I'm just going to pour in a tablespoon of water and that's just going to stop the cooking of the sugar. And we're also going to add in a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Open up. Now we're going to add it to our dry mixture and give that a big stir. Open up. You should have your oven preheated to 180 degrees and what we're going to do is we're going to roll these up into balls and put them onto a tray, making sure that we leave three centimeter gaps in between each ball. I am going to turn my oven on now, which is really loud because uh, I have a Kmart oven, but if you have a normal oven, you should already have it preheated. So let's do this. You we should be close and friends uh, if you open uh, and take that hot road and hop in. Uh, open up, uh, open up, uh, shut it down like a bag guitar. Open up, open up. Uh, all right, guys, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to bake a couple and then the rest I'm going to freeze so that I can make them at a later date so I don't end up eating a million ants. Alrighty, so I've just taken these cookies out of the oven. Should I bake 
First impression, you OPN. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN. Take the hot road and hop in. First impression. Second batch. So that was only going to bake one. Something to note with these cookies is that they feel soft. So they harden as they cool down. I really. Yeah. All right. Can't believe I actually waited this long to taste these. Oh, okay. You ready? This is my Anzac cookie. This is the bottom of it. Listen to this. You hear that? Okay. It's crunchy on the outside. But it's also chewy, which is like my favorite type of cookie. Biscuits, sorry. I've been watching too many American TV shows. Favorite biscuit. Mm. Add the salt. Definitely need the salt. Oh, wow. You guys, who am I? Shit, it's so good. You want to take them out of the oven when they're golden brown because they continue to cook, okay? So this is what I took out of the oven when they were golden brown. These other ones here, they're a little bit darker, so I think they're going to be a little bit crunchier, but it's cool. So in my oven, it took about nine minutes, I would say, eight to nine minutes. Um, but it's going to be different for your oven. I have a Kmart oven, which cooks faster anyway. Uh, it's a much smaller oven. You guys, you should definitely make these cookies this weekend. I've also frozen some, and so I'm going to test that out as well and let you know if it's cool to freeze them. So keep an eye out on my Instagram page. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I release new videos every week. New recipes. I mean, what more do you want in your life? This and a cup of tea. Mm, delicious. I can't get over how good these are. <laughs>